Welcome to Croc Vlog 33, 33rd weekly vlog so far. And um, this week, it's gonna be a good week. The last two weeks have been absolute chaos and hell. So I'm looking forward to the positive this week. I've got live workouts on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's Monday, so I've just had my training session in the garden, um, Croc Fit workout, and then some weighted back. Got the cats in the garden too. What I'm gonna do for you this week is a what I eat in a day during lockdown. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, I'm not sure. But sometime this week, and that'll be the main topic of this week. It's Tuesday. I don't mean to just make videos in my garden, but today it is a hot one, about 24, 25 degrees. I'm taking a rest day because I feel like I've trained really hard. My chest is so, still sore from two days ago. My back is sore from yesterday. So I'm taking a rest day, and that's because I know I'm gonna get my walking done because I'm spending the afternoon on the golf course. I played really well today, two over par for nine. Um, and I hardly ever play, so I'm really, really happy with that. Everything was on good form. Um, glad that the golf courses are open now, but still practicing social distancing. It was weird to get in the car. It was weird to get out of the house after such a long time in lockdown. So I really enjoyed that. Just had a call with my app developers. Um, exciting uh, conversation. HomeFit 2 will be going into the app in about two weeks time. So any of you that are waiting for the HomeFit 2 training program in the CrocFit app, it should be there in the first week of June, fingers crossed. Um, and then we were chatting about the next updates for after that. So we're really building momentum now and hopefully for the rest of the year, we're gonna really speed up the rate of development, not just in training programs launching in the app, but also loads of updates and cool features. Um, so I'll keep you updated about that. It is Thursday and today is the day that I'm gonna show you everything that I eat in a day, lockdown edition, to keep in this body shape, building muscle, getting leaner. I'm starving, so let's get to breakfast. Breakfast is a smoothie with unsweetened almond milk, reflex nutrition, plant-based protein, spinach, blueberries, oats, this greens powder, chia seeds, and hemp protein powder. Second meal of the day is this little snack, protein bar from Reflex Nutrition, 20 grams of protein, keep me going until lunchtime. And lunch is served with loads of broccoli, tomatoes, and an omelet with two eggs, and 175 grams of egg whites, salt, pepper, chili flakes, and red pepper in there. Okay, mid-afternoon snack, and guess what? It's another protein bar, but that's okay. Sometimes I have two of these, sometimes I have a different snack, but to keep the protein up, there's no harm in having two of these, especially when they're good quality and there's no nasty ingredients. Um, and that's why I love Reflex for that very reason, having a couple of these a day. Okay, time for the next snack, an apple. It's time for another snack. Pre-workout muscle bomb is quite late in the day now, so it's a caffeine-free one with a nice big banana to get those carbs in pre-workout. Probably thinking that I take a lot of supplements, but this is my intra-workout shake, which is full of BCAs. I'm just giving myself the best opportunity to build muscle at the moment. And today's session is weighted chest, shoulders, and triceps. So I'm doing my HomeFit One program still, which is lots of cardio, high intensity, and strength, but then adding on the weights and the bands and the TRX and stuff as well. And I'm looking pretty good. I'm happy with progress this week. What do you think, Baxter? Pickle? Any comments? <sighs> nah, they don't know. Anything? Oh. Post workout protein shake, similar to this morning, however, without all the added funky stuff. So, we've just got unsweetened almond milk, unseen here. Um, plant based protein again, frozen blueberries, and oats. So, all the food up till now today has been pretty um, standard every day. Not much variance in that. And as you noticed, maybe you didn't notice, no meat so far. I've been trying to have eggs and egg whites and omelets for lunches. Um, just to reduce the meat intake um, this year really, which I've enjoyed doing, but I'm not vegan or vegetarian. I sometimes, like I most of the time have meat for dinner, whether it's chicken or pork or steak, for example. Tonight is an amazing meal of pork kebabs, rice, and green beans. And 
This is the one meal that is obviously having the most variance from day to day. It's always different, um, but one thing I'm always looking to do is have high protein, lots of veg and carbohydrates as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to digging into this and then... So what I do after dinner is usually check to see how many calories I have left because I, I rarely would have finished all my calories uh, with dinner. So I use obviously my fitness pal to track my nutrition and today so far is 2,221 about that. Um, I have enough protein so I don't need to add any protein. So now at this point in the evening where my goal is about 2,450 or 2,500 at the moment, I know that I've got a couple of hundred calories left and no need to have any more protein. So I can have anything. Might have some rice cakes with peanut butter or just chocolate rice cakes. Hey Pickles and Sarah. Um, or anything, any snacks I have in the house to finish up those calories. Um, gotta go for a little walk now and choose which food I'm gonna have. So yeah, I had some dark chocolate rice cakes in the house, which leaves me at 2,770 calories, um, which is good. That is enough food for today and a very, very satiable, very enjoyable amount of food. Training, what? finishing my 10,000 steps. What? You're gonna go into the pole. Sarah thought I was gonna walk into the pole. I'm not that stupid. The camera's in front of me so I can <laughs> see what's in front of me. Um, anyway, I'll do a roundup of nutrition tomorrow. <laughs> so I may not be stupid enough to walk into a pole, but I'm stupid enough to walk around with that bit of rice cake on my lip, that whole recording, just watched it back. Damn, that's so annoying when that happens. So anyway, a couple of things to note in my food and my nutrition at the moment is that that is my goal in regards to calories. That's my requirements, my preferences. Um, if you guys need to know how many calories you need per day, depending on your goal and your size, your weight, your gender, etc., then I'll put in the link um, in this caption uh, with the TDEE calculator and that will give you your kind of basal metabolic rate, how many calories you need with how active you are to maintain weight. And then you can get a deficit or a surplus of calories depending on whether you wanna lose weight or gain weight, okay? So what I'm doing right now with about 2,450 to 500 a day means that I'm in a good 400, 500 calorie deficit per day if I burn 3,000 calories, which I use my Fitbit to estimate I know these numbers are just estimates, but it's still something to go by. Um, so I'll be in a deficit, which helps me stay lean and lose body fat, but there's enough protein, which I made sure was a priority yesterday and every day to make sure that I build muscle and maintain muscle as an absolute minimum. Um, so that's how I'm transforming my body and building muscle, getting leaner and staying in the shape that I do um, because I'm, I'm really focusing every single day. However, in the weekend, I do have a slight cheat meal. So if you're wondering how I include the cheat meals and track it and stay um, making progress, then I will put a link here as well to the video that I made last week about how to enjoy cheat meals and big weekends whilst making progress as well. It's all about tracking not just your daily calories, but your weekly and monthly calories. Okay, so hopefully that was interesting. Um, and leave your comments below about any questions and I'll try to answer them in the next vlog. Welcome to Saturday. I feel really tired recently. I think it's mainly because this one just wakes us up throughout the entire night. It's like being parent, we're training to be parents. And um, I feel as tired as what a parent would feel. Anyway, exciting times for a couple of reasons. First reason is, I received this from YouTube. Do you know what this is? Quickly go and check my subscriber amount. It's more than 100,000. And this is my award. I cannot wait. I'm gonna be making an unboxing video. And so look out for that. And it will include my 10 favorite YouTube moments so far. So I'm gonna record that in the next couple of days. The next exciting thing is a brand new MacBook Pro. Um, I've been meaning to upgrade my MacBook for so, so long. I've just been getting through. Sorry about the knocking, that's upstairs refurbing. Um, yeah, uh, it's been a long time coming, so brand new MacBook. It's exciting, exciting day. Oh, Sunday afternoon, we've just done a um, crock fit, home fit workout, full body, and then a body weight leg day as well, and that just rounds up the week of training. Training's gone all right this week. Quite happy with progress in my knee recovery, slightly getting better and better each day whilst working the leg still. So I took some time off of the leg, and now I'm building strength back in with body weight stuff like I did today. 
And before this video finishes, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone downloading and using my CrocFit app at the moment. I checked the analytics and there's 10,000 unique monthly users every month at the moment, which is incredible around the world. But I do want to see that at 20,000. I do want to get the app even more successful around the world. So keep spreading the good vibes and thank you all so much for using it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful and please give it a thumbs up, comment below um, of what you'd like to see next in these crop vlogs and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.